Today I'm going over how to use the clone tool in GIMP. It's based off of a Reddit Photoshop battle tutorial by a moderator over there called Captain McFeisty. So in GIMP, before I can start clone stamping, I want to duplicate this layer because I want the original to reference back to potentially in case I mess it up too bad, especially when you're beginning. The clone tool looks like a stamp, but eh, not really that well. Go to Tools and Paint Tools. You can also find it there under Clone. You can also just press C. So how clone stamping works is that you're going to put pixels from over here onto this part. So we're going to get rid of the baby in this case. So if I, I have to tell GIMP which pixels I want in Windows, it's hold down control and click. And then I can start painting over the child. He's gone, 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 gone. Okay, but there's some issues here because, you know, it's uh, maybe bumped down my harness a little bit and just kind of Say I want some of these pixels and we'll paint them over here, but we'll just kind of blend so they're not direct match. Now edges are actually the hardest part of this by far. So if I, again, I'll just say control here and say I want these pixels and I'm going to paint them right on the edge to get rid of the baby's head. Okay. Same with over here. I want to get rid of these pixels because that was kind of a weird edge. Okay, again, I'm going to click here, say I want those pixels, and I'm going to paint them over here. Now, I can't go too far. I'll start painting the baby again. You don't want that. You want that baby gone. So, same thing. Oh, I messed up. Same thing. You just want to always work horizontally in most pictures because that's the light just works better. And again, you just want, for those final touches, you just want to brush. And there's some artifacting there. There's some traces that there was something there and a trained eye will see that uh, but most people won't and that's kind of what you want okay i'll go over some more advanced ways of getting rid of uh, light gradients that don't make sense in a future video but that's clone stamping in essence at the end